What up? Uh, everybody. It's the normies. We're back to watch more black sales. We're nearing the end of the series and <laughs> things are happening. Things are happening. Last uh, last week was a nice little calm before the storm, just setting up some final pieces. And now I, I feel like this episode will. Well, yeah. I mean, we're going back to Nassau. I, I don't think. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with this whole Maddie mission. I, I don't know if they're gonna go to Nassau and just end up staying there because, like, I, I just don't see them getting back to that island. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think I they're gonna mean, catch these hands? There's all already a betrayal afoot, so we're gonna see how that plays out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mick, Mickey, are they going to catch these hands? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see when when he beats up a guy. Uh. <laughs> Can I can I say the market substitutes? Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do it in the in the Maxine voice. Oh my god! God damn it! <laughs> god damn, bro! How you could you be your market substitute? How you could you be your market substitute? How you could you be your market substitute? And uh, yeah, all that stuff. Ah, oh, Billy! Don't shoot Billy! Why are you fucking with people, Woods? 50-50. If this plan to secure yeah. the cash ends badly for me, it will end badly for you. It was what I said it'd be, was it? Avery's journals. Spy that measure of trust. Oh shit, Henry Avery? Was a disagreement over a little money for them to kill him. Bro, Francis Drake from Uncharted would love to have his hands on this notebook. You want the exchange of the money to have them off this island somewhere no one need know of it. There it is. We will lead them there, and they will follow you. Did anybody see what island that was? Oh, uh, so good. I didn't catch it. So good. La Isla de Espuerto or something like that? What happens after all of it? I saw what came of NASA when he was touched by it. There's nothing in NASA but horror. He said it was just a transition. There's something better lay beyond it. There's something meaningful. What if the result of this war isn't beyond the horror? What if it is the horror itself? The most certainly eyes a dark moment between here and there. But everything is this that moment? There isn't a man or woman in Nassau who'd argue that she isn't the best in the world. Cash is critical to our war, but so is she. Critical to holding our lives together. We absolutely must get her back up. It's the best possible outcome, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Does she still snooping? Did she not learn her lesson? I fear for my husband's safety, for men I've long called enemies, for men I once called friends. I will move heaven and earth to protect him. But while playing this role, the limits of my influence are ever present. Oh shit, he caught your ass. Yeah, you can read a dead person's journal. I said it first night. She must have slipped in behind us during the night. Looks like she's been waiting for us. On the rail! Boys. How's that possible overnight? Oh shit, oh shit, son. This reminds me of them seeing uh, Dufresne and fucking. Have uh, you seen Eleanor on another boat too? Yes, man. Oh, yeah, she's about to get fucked. Even try. No. Oh! Gun crews at the ready! What are you doing? The next guy the shooter is. You bring your guns to bear, you'll think twice about killing him. Play that order! Whoa! Uh oh. I'm not talking. Shit's going on. Bring it up here right now. Don't be at war. What did you bring with us? Your plan failed. We're moving on to my plan. God damn it. Damn it. Yeah, no trust. No trust. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm Team Blue Rogers. Blue Rogers to win. Hey, John Rodden. There's no trust anymore between Flint and Silver. They do not have the power of Universe 7. I mean, wouldn't they put Maddie in front of that? Fuck that! Fuck the trust now. What's this making too big of a statement? They have a war to win, though. Dude, too much emotion, though, sir. I'm sorry. Open it. That's fucking beautiful. Damn, they're all in like mags bags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all, all the people on the ship are shitty as fuck. They gotta give this shit up. They, they don't trust John. 
Yeah, this is a that was a bad move. They 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 they, they mean, like honestly, they, they just yeah, took all our treasure for a girl. It, it's it's a bad move with the secrecy. Yeah, it's, yeah. But if he hadn't done that, Matty probably would have been shot by now. Maybe John has another plan. Is. Maybe he's gonna unload a barrage of cannon fire. I don't, I don't know. know. She would. I don't know how it's gonna work. Everybody's. I mean, that seems like a bro. Everybody's plan. angry as fuck. Wherever he's going, we follow him. Man, Flint met him halfway too. Uh, they better have a plan, otherwise. Nah, Flint had the well. plan. Silver went. This silver, silver bent for love. I don't blame him, but you know, it's Flint tried to beat him halfway. But he, he, he was getting ready to shoot Maddie though. Like whatever Flint was gonna be doing, it was gonna take too long. She, she would have died if he didn't show that treasure. I mean, she was already dead. I don't understand. If the governor knows our destination, why can't he just stop a course directly to a spot in the charts? Because Skeleton Island is not on any chart. Not on the civilized one at any rate. It's been used from time to time for transactions neither party wished would ever be acknowledged. Damn. I like these two pirates. This has got to be the most pirate shit we've seen on this show so far. It's like some Skeleton Island that is uncharted and not on the map. We had it in our hands. This war was breathing air, it was alive. Now Julius is back in that camp, pointing to a hole in the ground, telling anyone who'll listen. This is what it looks like when you trust a pirate. Yep. Some of you about that war. The number of times I have followed you blindly, backed you with the men blindly, put men in the fucking ground. Good men, friends, because you said, I know the way. And God damn it, right now you're going to return the favor. Oh, it's kind of bigger than that, though. It's kind of bigger. But do not ask me to choose between a war and a wife. I, feel like this I do not think you're going to like the answer. Mm, damn. I do not expect your understanding, but I demand your support. Damn. As my partner, as my friend, do I have it? I don't I mean, think you're so, bud. On this motherfucker. <laughs> the favor, the favor he's asking is kind of like bigger, like than you know. Yeah, situation I agree. Right. I still think that them working together is like the best outcome, no matter what the decision made is. As long as they well, do it together. Well, yeah. We saw him Billy when he gets someone happen. Oof. Oh. Oh. Should grab a knife again? You got this, girl. Maybe a little bit too soon, but you still got this, girl. Yeah, a little soon, dude. She's gonna cut the other hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, You'll get yeah, there, girl. you can't really, I mean... I mean, we know Adele's name, but not... You really intend to leave? Whether Jack returns alive or not? Jack will turn. Jack went to hunt Captain Flint. Chances are good you've seen the last of him. <laughs> Adele. Damn. <laughs> you killed a friend of mine. Her name was Charlotte. And you did it for reasons that had nothing to do with her. There were men I knew that would have killed you for me. But Max refused. I couldn't tell then if it was because she was afraid of you. I wouldn't have blamed her, I was. Adele ain't afraid no more. She gonna try to kill her aunt. I respect your wishes. No, she's just when she said swaying her about Max. Because despite the world reminding her every day of her life that she's undeserving of being given anything by it, she never believed a word of it. That woman has been fighting the whole goddamn world since the day she was born. Damn. She's a breath away from winning that fight for whatever reason. She wants to share the spoils with you, and you'd walk away. Did Max put her up to this? Like, why is she I thoroughly enjoy how they like start and end stories in this show. She better not stray her away from Jack yeah, again. Yeah, it is. I don't like this old back and forth shit. She still hasn't really picked between Max and Jack. And those are the pirates. They've inhabited the east bank Biggity, across Biggity. from Springgate Island for years. In less than ten years, more goods will move through here than any English-speaking port outside London. There'll be civilization here. Where will the pirates be? On the east bank, across from Springgate Island. Because the shipping concern charges a premium for the risk the pirates present. I assume the governor too profits from this. Why would anyone want to end it? Damn! She mm. always wants the pirates to answer. Smart motherfuckers. Now all that's left to know about this adventure. She was going to lead it. Rack them. Oh, Jack. her. I think she would put Max in. Jack and Max. 
Edward Houghton, the only male heir to his family's banking operation. Supremely uncurious, <laughs> ordering on the dim, but fundamentally decent. This is not the man you would like to put in charge of Nassau. I'd like to put you in charge of Nassau. Come on, Roxine, take it. I would take the this. He'd come with money, he'd open doors to new partners, and he'd be most amenable to doing whatever else you told him to do. Damn. You tell him to marry him? Yup. Yeah. This is dope. Okay. Trying to marry her off. That'd be a good ending for her. To me as a wife. What? Ooh. I mean, she'd have to leave Anne. She's already left Anne, pretty much. To rise from where you began to where you now stand, I can't imagine the road you've traveled. And the illusions maintained at so great a cost to your sense of self. But that road has led you to me. All woman Guthrie is shit. I will introduce you to him, and as I imagine you'll have no difficulty taking things from there, our partnership may move forward fully formed. Damn! She's gotta go for it, but she, she worked <laughs> her whole life with this. Like, damn. This is just a small, another small Yeah, this is like her. <laughs> this is her arc. Also, it's also, it's also kind of like security in a way for her, too. It's kind of like the culmination of her arc. I mean, everything she's done now, work up to this point. But what about the end bunny? Sometimes, you know, ambition is a little more than other things. Killing Fleet was already going to be an impossible feat. Now we need to evade the governor and his soldiers as well. Wouldn't it make a whole lot more sense to just wait for the governor to kill him for us? If Woods Rogers secures that cash, he secures his position here. He wins. Everything we need is on that island. Be the final place where shit goes down. Skeleton Island. If you leave him alive long enough, he's going to make you pay for it. Well, Hans always seems trying to stir shit up. Hans is a little pot stir. Like, you guys talk about Walter White, but he's over here doing the same shit. He needs to keep his hands out of the pot. <laughs> keep the hands out of the cookie jar, bro. No, it's, you want it done. You just don't know where the last is. Game of Thrones shit. He made very clearly. He will make no move against him. He will not speak of doing so to any man on this crew, nor to me again. Silver's making a mistake now. He's being alienated. See, the power got gotten over John's head now. That's what I'm trying to say. He doesn't know who he's talking to. Hans could literally kick his fucking ass. Hands. They need to be caught. Yeah, but Hans won't do it because mm -hmm. Hans is a good soldier and he follows him. He knows. He's telling him to take the crown so he can be his king. So, like, he's not going to fucking move against him. She has committed to the plan. The moment we have been working towards since we arrived, it happened. That's good news. So why'd you do like that? I told her I could not agree to it. What? What? Fuck, what? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Max, what the fuck's oh, wrong shit. with you? That was the wrong move, girl. You gotta look Wait, at hear, assets. I hear her out. Hear her out. You gotta hear her out. His wife. In name only and for appearances' sake. Yes. And you said no. Why would you do that? Because I love you. You remember when I first met Eleanor? How stunned I was. When I became her lover, I watched the decision she oh, made. When I became her rival, I watched the mistake she made and resolved never to. And I felt I had surpassed her in every way. It seemed as though there was something she was still trying to say to me. She was trying to tell me I just could not hear her. That was truly important. I said no to Mary and Guthrie's plan. Despite having no alternative and at the risk of losing the entire endeavor, I refused to situate a man in a position where he might interfere one day with my ability to repair things with you. In the Damn name it, of you love, for the girl. love, love, love. What does that have to do with it? I'm so sorry for working so hard to protect the wrong things. For failing to see that there is nothing important that is not important. Interesting. I don't agree with this. The snow looks fucking awesome right now. Cinematography is on point for these last episodes. Yeah. This was a really good scene, but this love triangle is kind of still out in the cage. Oh, but look, it's cute. It's cute. I mean, it's not a triangle. But, but Jack, yeah. Jack, Jack literally just professed his love right, last bro. episode. Why would he put another man in fucking Jack office? literally said he's doing it for her and Anne last episode. I thought Jack was properly friend zoned years ago. It has been straight Anne and Max. It's this is bullshit. Time. They can all three live and love each other. I mean, that'd be dope as fuck, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Damn, Damn. fucking Skull <laughs> Island, man. This is the. To curse Woo! the Black Pearl Bro, shit. I, have, I got chills right now. It really looks like Kingdom Hearts, though, Joe. Don't bring Kingdom Hearts into this. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Don't bring it. 
Avery finds the remains of all 31, sorted. Evidence that a number of them had been dismembered while still alive. Oof. All 31 bodies were found still on the ship, locked inside the hole, locked from within. What? Others. They they each each other. they mm. Maybe they went nuts from scurvy. Others. Avery claimed to have seen the log. It said that the crew had refused to go inland to forage for food or for fresh water. That the first men in had returned, reporting sounds coming from the forest. The men said it sounded to them like the voice of God warning them to stay away. See what turns scary? No, but there's just deep lore on this pirate island. There's just myths. Music on point. I was about to say that music is really hyping up this grand finale here. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go. The move has been made. If we are to survive this experience, if our cause is to survive, some of us must find a way to keep our wits about us on behalf of those who can. Well, the lines have been drawn. Mr. Silver, I fear, is compromised in this regard. I find myself in need of a new partner. Back on his Damn. bullshit. Just like that. Fucking flip. Bro. God damn it. Who is this? Yeah, he just. They just killed him. Maybe they like, cut two. They like knocked. I, I don't know who he is though. Well, these next two episodes are about to be ridiculous. Even if he shoots it, he'll want it. Whoa. There's two I told you. Hands is. You don't tell Hans to do what? I'm telling you, you gotta know who you're talking to. I Silver got the part of hands. I tried to tell him we fight. Only two outcomes I can see. I die. Oh, you got it. oh no no, he's not too tired of that. He's speaking or er, like he's gonna speak himself. Until he sees you for what you are. Go. Hey man. I mean, that's why you don't fuck <laughs> That's why everybody's fucking each other over in this show though. Yeah. A lot of discord amongst the ranks heading into the finale, like from all fronts. Do you see it now? What would Teach have said? What would Vane have said? <laughs> Billy beat the shit out of John Silver. Captain Flynn killed one of my men and managed to hold cash to shore. I came in the hopes my presence might buy some time before he reacted to this news. And until I am able to remedy the situation. What sort of remedy is that? Kill Flynn. Kill him. He's gonna fucking kill him. He's gonna uh, fucking kill him. Sure. He's gonna so kill him, bro. My men him. Their orders in no uncertain terms as a trap Captain Flynn. Wasn't yeah, Billy, what was the order there? What else did you tell them to do? Shit! <laughs> dude, they sent his best soldier. Hands. That guy, I don't know his name, Asian dude, that never dies. Seal, seal, seal Team hands. Six. <laughs> seal Team Hands. Seal Team Hands. It is now officially time to catch these hands. <laughs> Damn, dog. Well done, Billy. Vindictiveness is dead. <laughs> oh, this is there so... It is. Oh, it's lit! So Woo! Man, I wanna finish it! Woo! It's lit! It's lit! It's lit! It's lit! It's lit! It's lit! Also... Dude, that was eight. Eight! We have two more episodes. How does everybody want Flint dead? Alright, so who's got money? Who's gonna kill Flint? Uh... uh not Jack. those guys! Jack. Jack. Jack is gonna kill them. Who's gonna kill John Silver? Wait, I, mean, I, uh, I, don't, I, I, guys, I don't know the history. The whole, I, I honestly Wood. don't know the. Actually, Woods. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna uh, but kill. But John Silver needs to go. Who's gonna kill Woods? Woods is his, 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 his own win. demise. Woods is his own demise. Woods and Billy are winning, and Jack's are winning. Those are gonna win. Woods is Jack the death of his own demise. win, dude. No, uh, Jack and yes, Jack. Because what's gonna happen is. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. Woods is already like, no, everybody hates him, right? 
Nobody wants to deal with him. So what's gonna happen once he gets the cash, him, Billy, and Jack, they're just gonna create their own little NASA. And they're gonna be Man. Gucci. I don't know. I don't so know who's guys, gonna kill who. I think it, it is my understanding that they're in a lagoon and <laughs> that pirate ship is blocking the, uh, the English ship. So it is very well possible that they can take over that uh, right there. So I feel like Billy planned that so that they can take over that ship eventually, but at the same time kill Flynn. Mm. I don't know what you mm. mean. Mm. You're giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Um, you know what, man? I think it's just going to be a shit show. Uh, we, we know that, you know, the Pirate Age came to an end, so I, I do. I actually kind of think Pat might be right, but also I don't think, uh, I don't like Woods. I hate Woods. Fuck him. He's in debt. I being like a Woods. Bitch about it. I used to like him, but then when he dragged Teach, then he became annoying. Oh, I kind of used to like Woods, too, remember? I since the beginning. I liked him for a little bit, I remember. I'm not going to fake it. <laughs> you can't. It's on the internet. Shut up, Chris. Okay. I tell the internet what to believe. I'm just kidding. Um, man, this is... All these episodes are so good. So, like, I cannot... I cannot... Wait, are we still talking about the other thing? My bad. What, what thing? I don't know. I just want to make sure no. we're done. Okay. I cannot believe, but also good for her, Max turning down the offer from Granny G. I was like... Oh, can I talk about this? Yeah, I just want to say one thing real quick. I think, okay, maybe, like, in general, I think it was a good choice because, like, you like you don't want to put a man, like, another person in position that might ruin things for you. She was thinking straight in a way, but also might have also, I mean, might have also, so might have also an opportunity to, but yeah, go Pat. Alright, so here's my thing. You guys, <laughs> like this point, Max done so much in her life. Like the, the, the journey she's done, like the grandma says, like, what you've done, I admire you. That's, that's why she's helping her. Go? The journey she's been from a slave slave woman to becoming a free woman and leading people and doing what you're doing, NASA. Like, you did, you seen a lot of shit. You gave up a lot of shit. You sacrificed a lot of shit. And she done, like, she did a lot of things that sacrificed her morals. She did a lot of stuff. At this point, you're at the end of the road. Almost at the end of the road. You're about to get what you want. You have to make one more little more sacrifice to get that you want and you she even said the grandma said this person is just a mouthpiece he's gonna listen to you what you want to do he has yeah. the money he has everything that you need to be successful and get you where you need to go and finish your your uh goal your life whatever journey that you had you this was it right there and that guy she could still have in that that guy was just a mouthpiece that guy was just like but he you was, heard, he was but just you, a place you say it like but that she, one day she, she, yeah but yeah, one, one day, day because that guy flip yeah, over. He, because no, he no that that was because she she didn't want uh, Anne to think of him like, hey, I, I lost. She also um, said, "What's her face, Max?" Said. To a guy like she was, they, they still she still wanted Anne and Max to be Hello. a thing. I, That's, that I was don't the, know. That was the thing. Hello. I, don't know. I, I think I think she just didn't want the guy like go to like flip like like go one day go mad with power and be like, oh, I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. It's just Max has always done whatever she's had to do to get more Hello. power, but this is like. Kind of, I mean, and it's good because she had more agency, but this is the first time she's, like, listened to her heart. And yeah. you kind of done what she but that, wanted that's to get that. Every hey. time when you listen to her, you listen to your heart, you fuck up. So, uh, well, look, I, hey, I, I agree quick. with what you said, but, but hold on, what hold on. Happened? I just want to add to that. That union, she's, she's still tied to that man, and, yeah, he is going to be a mouthpiece, and he's, like, a pushover, but if he ever... Decides he doesn't want to like, be. Like, he, 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 yeah, yeah. If he ever decides he doesn't want to be, like he, his word ultimately still rules. Yeah, like she definitely could. Like she could definitely mold him, but like that could that could very well change. She was saying that she learned that from Eleanor. Eleanor had all of the agency. She was like, when Eleanor became my enemy, I promised that I would mm -hmm. watch the mistakes that she made and I would never do those again. She's saying that Eleanor mm -hmm. taking on Woods Rogers the way that she did was a mistake because Eleanor mm -hmm. put herself in the backseat. Mm -hmm. And Woods Rogers took over mm -hmm. completely and was telling her what to do. And in mm -hmm. the end, even her trying to go against what Wood Ro Woods Rogers was trying to do is one of the reasons why she died. Like, all of that shit yep. fell apart because of, you know, how it all went down. And she's like, even if that dude is a pushover, the day that he decides he doesn't want to be anymore is the day that I'm fucked. So, in all sense, sure, she's got the power, but he has just as much power, if not more than her. Because the day that he says, yeah, I'm tired of this shit, that's the day that it ends. 
I, I agree. I agree with all you said, and that th happened to Eleanor. That exactly what happened. But Eleanor never had the grandmother's uh, gone three uh, blessings. Like Eleanor's in her corner. The, the, that's a big thing. They're like the top ten fa like top ten wealthiest family in P Pennsylvania or the America, uh, all of America. You have that as your family, and that kid that they're trying to marry off, he's already a fuck up. The parents don't want to do anything with him. They want to sell him off. They're not going to listen to him, even if he wants to pull up in the power or whatever happens. They're gonna. Max has the Guthrie's ear. They know what. Uh, they yeah, know what Max is capable. Ocean they, away. they have. Uh, yeah, but that's fine. But they have Guthrie's like. Back in and blessing the kid does has no blessing for like the parents want him to gone his own parents would think him as a fuck up yeah and the <laughs> everybody he wants decides it. he wants to be an asshole the Guthrie's will be an okay, ocean away they won't be able to stop away, it but the Guthrie okay but he'll be an asshole but he won't be able to do much things because the Guthrie's have the power on Nassau it seems like if you want to do a lot you can do a lot but and then Eleanor Eleanor never had that but, but, Eleanor but, Eleanor Eleanor never had that so she never had the full backing power guys, of anybody I, she never had like the full backing of anybody and like the only person she had was Wood Rogers but Wood Rogers never had a full backing of anybody either I think that there is a difference in the relationship <laughs> that uh, Eleanor had with Rogers because she actually fell in love with him and uh, she just she just became like she 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 had a tunnel vision at some point and she just like followed him and when she realized that he was making bad decisions it was too late but i feel like that wouldn't happen with uh with max because she would have no emotional ties to this person and if she treated him as a tool from the get-go uh, they could all have a common understanding he could have gained from it she could have gained from it like if they had open communication between each other like she could have stayed with Anne, have him as well. I feel like there is ways to go know, to make this work. They would have let her be with the but pirate. like no, the problem is she never even tried to like talk to this man and see who he was like. Because if he was moldable and if he the fuck, if, we don't if know, there was something she could have done to offer him in exchange for his like cooperation in their fake marriage that he could just have any person in the brothel that he wanted any day of the week. Who wants to live like that? Who wants to live like that? Who wants to live like that? He could have, who wants she to could live have like done, that? she could have tried and talked to him. This one but, thing but, that she needs to do is have a, have a fake husband. I'd fucking do it. But well, like, I no, the chances of going bad, Why though? would you do that? Like, I don't know, if it's that between like just being with your, your true love or whatever, yeah, what, what, what do they have? Like what is that. what is she going to do with Anne? Where really are they going to go? Yeah, what are they going to do? Thank you, Mark. How are they going to live? You. What's that true love going to get you? Nothing. True love is going to get you Jack dead. Rackham. Oh Jack Rackham my God! The, the, I think the, 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 the plunder. Right. I think a lot of it has to do with love. Yes, but at the end of the day, it's the chance. Like she was, she was inspired by Eleanor and the power, like being spoken and everything. She wants to be like. She wants to be the head. She doesn't. Want to, she doesn't want to be the, behind the head. You know what I mean? The man. Yeah. I know. From the I, pragmatic I, I standpoint, she should have done it to win the war. But I still feel like her reasoning isn't like too ridiculous. I mean, it kind of feels like everybody's making the selfish choice instead of doing the thing that they need to do to win the war. Which I know. Come Thank at you. me. Tell me that if Marquette was going to be shot, I would give up the whole entire cash. Because yes, I would. But also, that is the selfish choice, and that's going to keep you from not winning the fucking war. I think if you're trying to win a war, mm -hmm. you don't bring your boo into the war because your boo can be used yep. against you to ensure that you lose yep. the war. Mm -hmm. And when you're trying to win a war, you can't play with emotions. You got to put the emotions aside. Also, Woods, Woods is I about just... to be fucked, man. People are, people are <sighs> like, people are not staying loyal to him anymore. He's kind of losing his shit. He doesn't have a plan. He's still worried I mean, about pirates instead of. I mean, he's got a plan, NASA, which was his job. But, but his the job is to, pirates, to possibly. ensure NASA. Like he's kind of just fucking around doing his own shit for vengeance and that's not yeah. what anyone's behind him for yeah, so that's like the selfish choice control. isn't that what kind of like John's doing no never mind silver like no I mean giving a gold for his only did you see uh, Billy's face at the end well like Silver's I think like, no, I like flame, f fuck him over yeah obviously silver is I think possibly making the wrong move yeah you shouldn't sacrifice your boo you know for the war but your boo's in the war so this is what happens but when Flint vindicated him, when he was like, you and Maddie working together could easily hold this alliance and like make a lot of things happen. But like, I mean, I don't know. That just, I don't know. I think that a lot of times you have to take the pragmatic choice. I don't think that Pat is wholly right and you have to leave emotions aside because we have emotions for a reason. They're to be used, but you have to be able to weigh yeah. that shit with the other things that you're fucking doing as well. So do you think when Flint was talking about how uh, Silver 
and Maddie are like the, the future of, mm-hmm. of, of everything. Do you think he was being for real, for real, or was he just feeding like um, empty hope, ho- hopefulness into Silver for the time being, like his usual? No, I do think that he was for real. That also happened before he fi- he realizes that th- that he brought the cash with him. That's so funny. Yeah. He was like directly against him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Did you see the look on Billy's face? Yep. Yeah, he was like, I knew if Billy I made right. you too, Billy if I pushed right. you too harder enough. I mean, that's because <laughs> Billy could see it. Like, literally, I truly think that if whatever those two guys decided, if they'd have done it together, they actually could have. But, like, they mm-hmm. just came to, like, an impasse. And. Billy was like, told you. Yeah. No. I think Silver, I feel like Silver messed it up first, man. He dropped the, he dropped the surrender flag. I mean, he should have, he should have held fast. Should have let her get. Woods know, hey, Woods this is the risk. Maddie. Maddie but he, Woods, yeah. what, that was Woods' only leverage. That was his, only leverage. That was his only leverage. I don't think he was. Go- I don't think he was really going to kill her. Oh, I think he one hundred percent would have. He dragged Teach, bro. He's think? crazy, man. Okay, yeah. Like I, I would not yeah, put. I, I think. I think he was about to. Yeah, he was about to shoot her dead right there. Yes, he was. But I mean, I'm just saying that, like, if that's the cost of winning the war, that's a really hard question to ask yourself. So I really do. I empathize with Silverman, but I just see, like, they had the forces, they had everything they needed. And when uh, Flint was like, Julius was pointing at a hole in the ground and being like, this is why you don't trust pirates, that's it. He's not fucking wrong at all. And while they're fighting this fight that makes sense, like, all of the ex-slaves on that island are fighting to never be in chains again. So it's like they're all fighting for something different, and that's why they can't get onto the same board. They all agree that the world should change, but they all know that they don't have the same, like, fucking stake in it. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why they weren't able to unify as like a strong fucking force. Yeah. Mm. Man. We good episode though. Really Do you guys want to know good. what really that really lady's name is? Episode. Sarah. Is it, it, no, ca- I kind of don't want to know now. Fine, Margaret. I think her name is like Mrs. Fucking uh, Marie Williamson. Yeah, or is it Sarah? Okay, what Marquetta. Is, that? Marquetta is the closest one actually. What's what is her name? Miss Hudson. Hudson. What's her first name? Uh, I don't know. It just says Miss Hudson. <laughs> so is the bay going to be named after her? No, I don't All right, know. I'm done. But it was a good episode. The only thing... Yeah, we talked about everything. Anne tries to cut that bread, and Adele confronts her. It was like, yeah. you killed my friend. Oh, my God. Adele. She doesn't oh, have a first yeah. name. That actually... No. I like the conversation <laughs> Adele had with uh, Anne. That was really, really good. Yeah. I like that talk a lot. Man, love this is over the, ambition. Man, they're really everybody. ending the series love really well. Love over ambition. You, you got you got to choose love over ambition, y'all. Yeah. What what what's and the key to happiness? Uh, you can probably love. 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 You're sticking it out with you with your love. You gotta make that hard choice, bro. Well, guys. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching Black Sails with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Eleanor, Jesse, Joe, Lauren, Luis, Michael, Mike, Nick, Ruby, Dangerous, Nuptup, Quentin, Abdullah, Allison, Tristan, Diet Dan, Edward, Keyboard Junkie, the NYR fan, and ZJP. And we'll see you all next time.